Hello, God bless you. My name is Stephen, and I'm the pastor of Graffiti Fellowship Church in Brooklyn, New York. I'm so glad you're joining us for today's daily devotion. This is where we take a chapter from the Bible and read it together. We post these videos five days a week, and after they're posted, they're there for uh, posterity. They're, they're there at any time you'd like to access them. So at any point in time, uh, you can go back and uh, we have entire books of the Bible organized by playlist. And uh, you can just use those at any time to put a little of uh, God's Word, to include a little of God's Word in your day. And these are just designed to be a tool to either supplement your time in God's Word each day or to kind of light a fuse to, to, to help you begin to develop that habit. We are in the book of Luke uh, at present. Luke is the third book of the New Testament. <clears throat> it's the third of the four Gospels. It's the final of the three synoptic Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke. We call synoptic Gospels. They're synonyms. They, 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 they match primarily. Uh, John, not one of the synoptic Gospels. It doesn't follow the same pattern as the other three. That's not a contradiction in any way. John just writes from a different perspective uh, and a very important one, I would add. <clears throat> Today we're reading Luke chapter three. So far in Luke, we've seen uh, the birth of John the Baptist prophesied. John the Baptist is a uh, cousin of Jesus, about six months older than Jesus. And uh, he fulfills a prophecy that has been given to God's people that said one would come who would prepare the way for the soon coming Messiah. And here in chapter three, we're going to see John um, begin to engage in that public ministry. We'll also see uh, Jesus as an adult. He'll come to John for baptism. And then about half of the chapter, the chapter's not overwhelmingly long. <clears throat> it's only 38 verses. Uh, it feels pretty long, though, because half the chapter is a long genealogy of Jesus' family line. So it's just name after name after name. And uh, some of these names can be kind of brutal for those of us who are uh, native English speakers. Um, these are ancient names. These two, to us, to me, are, are foreign names, and there's just a lot of them. <clears throat> so we'll do the best that we can. I'll do the best that I can with some of these pronunciations. Some of them are familiar to us. Some of them are not. And uh, I, don't, I don't really articulate any of these with any great confidence. So I'm sure I'll uh, mispronounce some of these. And so I apologize in advance. But uh, that notwithstanding... Let's read Luke chapter 3. It begins this way in verse 1. It was now the 15th year of the reign of Tiberius, the Roman emperor. Pontius Pilate was governor over Judea. Herod Antipas was ruler over Galilee. His brother Philip was ruler over Ituria and Trachonitis. Lysesis was ruler over Abilene. Ananias and Caiaphas were the high priests. At uh, this time, a message from God came to John, son of Zechariah, who was living in the wilderness. This is John the Baptist. Then John went from place to place on both sides of the Jordan River, preaching that people should be baptized to show they had repented of their sins and turned to God to be forgiven. Isaiah had spoken of John when he said, He is a voice shouting in the wilderness, Prepare the way for the Lord's coming. Clear the road for him, the valleys will be filled, and the mountains and hills made level. The curves will be straightened, and the rough places made smooth, and then all people will see the salvation sent from God. When the crowds came to John for baptism, he said, You brood of snakes, who warned you to flee God's coming wrath? Wrath. Prove by the way you live that you've repented of your sins and turned to God. Don't just say to each other, we're safe or we're descendants of Abraham. That means nothing. For I tell you, God can create children of Abraham from these very stones. 
Even now the axe of God's judgment is poised, ready to sever the roots of the trees. Yes, every tree that does not produce good fruit will be chopped down and thrown into the fire. The crowds asked, what should we do? John replied, if you have two shirts, give one to the poor. If you have food, share it with those who are hungry. Even corrupt tax collectors came to be baptized and asked, Teacher, what should we do? And he replied, Collect no more taxes than the government requires. What should we do? asked some soldiers. And John replied, Don't extort money or make false accusations and be content with your pay. Everyone was expecting the Messiah to come soon. <clears throat> they were eager to know whether John might be the Messiah. John answered their questions by saying, I baptize you with water, but someone is coming soon who is greater than I am, so much greater that I'm not even worthy to be his slave and untie the straps of his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. He is ready to separate the chaff from the wheat with his winnowing fork. Then he'll clean up the threshing area, gather the wheat into his barn, and, but burning the chaff with never-ending fire. John used many such warnings as he announced the good news to the people. John also publicly criticized Herod Antipas, the ruler of Galilee, for marrying Heroditus, his brother's wife, and for many other wrongs he had done. So Herod put John in prison, adding this sin to his many others. Verse 21, one day when the crowds were being baptized, Jesus himself was baptized, and as he was praying, the heavens opened, and the Holy Spirit in bodily form descended on him like a dove. And a voice from heaven said, You are my dearly loved Son, and you bring me great joy. The Ancestors of Jesus Jesus was about 30 years old when he began his public ministry. And here's the genealogy. Jesus was known as the son of Joseph. Joseph was the son of Heli. Heli was the son of Mathat. Mathat was the son of Levi. Levi was the son of Melchi. Melchi was the son of Jenai. Jenai was the son of Joseph. Joseph was the son of Matthias. Matthias was the son of Amos, and Amos was the son of Nahum. Nahum was the son of Elsie, and Elsie was the son of Nagai. Nagai was the son of Math. Math was the son of Matthias. Matthias was the son of Samin. Samin was the son of Josach. Josach was the son of Jodah. Jodah was the son of Jonan. <laughs> Jonan was the son of Ressa. Ressa was the son of Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel was the son of Sheltiel, Sheltiel was the son of Neri. Neri was the son of Melchi. Melchi was the son of Adai. Adai was the son of Kossum. Kossum was the son of Elmadam. Elmadam was the son of Ur. Ur was the son of Joshua. Joshua was the son of uh, Eliezer. Eliezer was the son of Jorim. Jorim was the son of Mathet. Mathet was the son of Levi. Levi was the son of Simeon. Simeon was the son of Judah. Judah was the son of Joseph. Joseph was the son of Jonam. Jonam was the son of Elakim. Eli, I think that's Eliakim. Eliakim was the son of Malaya. Malaya was the son of Menna. Menna was the son of Mathatha. Mathatha was the son of Nathan. Nathan was the son of David. David was the son of Jesse. Jesse was the son of Obed. Obed was the son of Boaz. Boaz was the son of Salmon. Salmon was the son of Nashon. Nashon was the son of Abinadab. Abinadab was the son of Admin. Admin was the son of Arni. Arni was the son of Hezron. Hezron was the son of Perez. Perez was the son of Judah. Judah was the son of Jacob. Jacob was the son of Isaac. Isaac was the son of Abraham. Abraham was the son of Terah. Terah was the son of Nahor. Nahor was the son of Surug. 
Surig was a son of Ru. Ru was a son of Peleg. Peleg was a son of Eber. Eber was a son of Selah. Selah was a son of uh, Canaan. Canaan was a son of Arphaxid. Arphaxid was a son of Shem. Shem was a son of Noah. Noah was a son of Lamech. Lamech was a son of Methuselah. Methuselah was a son of Enoch. Enoch was a son of Jared. Jared was a son of Mahaliel. Mahaliel was a son of Kenan. Kenan was a son of Enosh. Enosh was a son of Seth. Seth was a son of Adam. And Adam was the son of God. That's a lot. That's the end of Luke chapter 3. And so we see here the beginning of both John and Jesus' earthly ministry. We see the intersection of those two ministries in the baptism of Jesus. And then uh, we see the, the anointing of Jesus uh, with the Holy Spirit, his baptism in the Holy Spirit, if you will. And uh, then we have a record here of Jesus' lineage, his genealogy, his family tree, which uh, clearly fulfills prophecy as well. Thanks so much for joining us for Luke chapter 3. I hope you join us again next time for Luke chapter 4. God bless you.